the quest to 5,000 takes back to the skies and a comedy of errors ensues. See what I did there? Errors? Welcome, my friends, and thank you for tuning in to Clash of Clans Attacks. It is the quest to 5,000 trophies, episode 35, and we're going to try some air attacks against better judgment, changing things up. Just got tired of the same old go wipe troops, so I went in with three lava hounds, about 20 balloons and minions, and the first step here is to see how many balloons I can miss with the first two rage spells. Now, as I recall, a big key to these attacks is predicting the pathing of those balloons. And as you can see, that middle group of balloons completely missed by the first two rage spells. I finally dropped the third rage spell in there, and that does accelerate them towards the town hall. Now we see how few structures I can freeze with a freeze spell. Just two is the answer, missing the expo. It does help the balloons last a little bit longer. We do get one of the Inferno Towers down. But as you can see now, the last of the air units just about to finish off, and I'm at 48% damage. Actually, feeling pretty good for this first air attack. You can see only one Expo remains, only one Inferno Tower, and a pair of Teslas. 49% damage now, and that Lava Pup at the top of the screen will hit 50. And now here comes the King. I dropped a few minions to help battle all of these skeletons that have come out. The Archer Queen as well. We're going to get those skeletons out of the way, but not before they take my King down to about 75% health. Now we're going to work on that level 11 wall. And yes, unfortunately, it does not look like we will be headed for the town hall. As you can see, the builder's hut, the gold storage off to the left. And sure enough, that is where the heroes are going to head. Now they're going to have to face off with the defending king. And no, it turns out the other two Teslas were still in hiding. Now they pop out, as does a big bomb. That annihilates my barbarian king's barbarians. And the barbarian king follows quickly thereafter. The queen so close, seemingly, to the town hall, she's going to take that expo out and now turn to the town hall and take it okay not quite it's going to be the dark elixir drill in the tesla and now the town hall but no of course not because she is just a little bit too far away how many spaces too many thank you peter yes there's five spaces between her and the town hall and with those two layers of walls it's just not going to happen and i walk away with eight trophies and just one star but I'm not out searching long and I find another village to attack and this time there's no heroes. So certainly easily too starable with just about any army. I drop in the Lava Hounds first, then the Balloons and Minions. Now there is a clan castle, but I'm going to deal with them effectively here. I'm going to drop the Rage Spells down, getting most of the Balloons in those Rage Spells. Headed right for the Town Hall. Now the Freeze Spell on the Air Defense, Inferno Tower, and the Clan Castle Troops. The last Rage Spell forming that Mickey Mouse shape as the Air Balloon, Air Balloons, Air Balloons. The Balloons move in towards the Town Hall, taking out one of the Teslas, but now you can see most of my air troops are down and there's a lot of defenses still around that town hall enclosure 42 percent damage so not even as much damage as the last attack where the heroes were up but i am feeling pretty good about a two star here it looks like the heroes should head right for that town hall enclosure there are no other structures that should distract them this time so we're going to drop the king first let him work on this wall just a little bit of insurance once he gets through that wall then i will deploy the queen here he goes, he is through the wall, here comes the queen, and sure enough, they're headed right for that town hall enclosure, big bomb going off early this time, that is a good sign, and now the queen can work on taking down some of those structures while the king gets through that wall, we are only at 44% damage, finally through the wall with the iron fist, big bomb on the inside, queen takes a lot of damage, now she comes inside, 47%, the skeleton traps, no, this is going to complicate matters severely, the king is stuck on the skeletons, as are most of the archers, 48%, and now the king is going to fall, the queen working on that expo takes it down for 49, but right here, this is the critical moment, where does the queen turn, if she goes to her left and goes after the town hall, she will surely fail and I will walk away a 49% loser but if she turns to the right and goes after the king's throne she can save the one star it is a critical gut-wrenching moment in this attack and the answer is 
royal brilliance. Yes, the queen goes after the king's throne, grabs the 50% one star, then fails on the town hall. And as you can see here, with only two minions left, I just tested the area. There really wasn't a spot I could find where I could have grabbed even one more structure. So thankful for that queen's decision to go and take out that one structure before she turned towards the town hall. And instead of a massive trophy loss, I walk away seven trophies richer. But wait, because the gala fails abound in this episode, the next village I came across, you'll notice the town hall, of course, on the outside, so I figured this is a perfect opportunity to practice my air attacks, grouping the balloons a little more tightly this time. I drop an archer over there to take care of the town hall, and then sending in the rest of my units here from the top of your screen. It looks like good rage spells, but then watch the balloons as they become tightly grouped in two separate packs, victims of splash damage, especially the guys on the right. I choose to enrage the group on the right-hand side, minions moving in 26% damage, Suddenly not looking that great. We're going to get a few more percentage points here from these air troops before they finally fall. We're still working on the town hall on the left-hand side, and so I drop the heroes on the far right side of the base. I just want to grab 50% for the second star. I think it was like a three-trophy offer. I figured as long as I already wasted my entire army, I might as well grab that extra trophy for 50%. So the heroes work on getting through that wall, taking out a few more structures. The queen takes down the air defense for 43%, and now we're through that wall should be 50 really quickly and then giants coming out of the clan castle an entire group of giants and that is going to severely complicate things you can see the damage the king is taking he goes down in a heartbeat the queen now taking damage from defensive structures and the giants closing in on her and notice the one giant i've frozen the inferno tower and that single giant that has started to wander off to the left but the queen is going to go down at 49 and where's that giant going you guessed it after the two archers that are on the town hall and as you can see they're not through that town hall yet it's still got about 35 percent damage remaining and there is no possible way that they're going to get through that town hall before the giant gets to them but i've got a clan castle full of balloons and thankfully i had forgotten to drop the clan castle balloons i dropped them at the bottom of the screen they grab a defensive structure for 50 percent the giant annihilates my archers the town hall stands and by the narrowest of margins i walk away with two trophies instead of a 30 something trophy disaster so the moral of this story may be don't try a new or unpracticed attack strategy when you are pushing for critical cups. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode. Please don't forget to check out my other episodes. Like, comment, and subscribe for daily Clash of Clans uploads. And yes, I will return tomorrow with more full attacks. Not like those. Galidon! Do you need some tips from an expert?